Welcome. This is Quest Unscripted, a vlog series on trending topics and Quest solutions related to Active Directory, Office 365. Oh, and don't forget Azure AD. You are here because you have questions. We're here because we have answers. I think. We will address questions we've received from customers, experience the same challenges as you, all with the goal of helping you confidently move, manage, and secure your Microsoft environment. We call the show Quest Unscripted because, except for the intro, nothing we say is scripted or rehearsed. And we're pretty sure you'll notice that right away. Thanks, Gizman. Hey, Good morning, Cameron. Cameron is joining us uh, from Australia. Is that that that's correct? Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, about an hour north of Sydney. Oh, nice. Well, I appreciate you uh, getting up in the morning. I know it's like seven o'clock for you. So I appreciate All good. it. Uh, and we'll get you going. So I've uh, I've something I'd like to kind of talk about that I uh, I'm seeing there's a there's obviously a huge uh, base for our uh, change auditor auditing solution for Active Directory and Active and Microsoft Stack. And uh, there is a feature inside a change auditor that is called uh, object protection or protection. We have what's called protection templates that allow us to protect certain objects from being uh, changed inside of Active Directory. So I'm going to open it up and just start asking questions. Uh, I'll start with you, Brian. Uh, what is object protection inside a change auditor? So object protection is a preventative control that can be put in place to prevent certain actions from ever occurring. And uh, if I am an existing customer, where, mm -hmm. and this is open to anyone, uh, obviously, if I'm an existing customer, just talk about the, the operation side of things before we talk about uh, what's the value and how it applies to different topics. Uh, where do I go to see the protection templates inside of Change Auditor? So you can go to View, Administration, and in the bottom left, you will see protection categories. And then when you look at the top left, you'll see Active Directory, Active Directory Database, uh, Group Policies. I think there may be another one as well. So there are definitely some items across each of those. I would highly recommend you get configured. Uh, yeah, there was a wiper virus that came out there. Uh, the split wiper virus just yesterday in Ukraine, that's using GPL. So we got to make sure we can prevent some GPOs from being applied that can affect everything in the entire organization. So plenty of different stuff I'd always recommend, but you should definitely uh, look at that one right now. Sure. All right. Well, before we we kind of dive more into, into it as well, uh, Jason, is this uh, an extra charge for customers or is it an out-of-the-box feature inside a change auditor? Yeah, that's one of the misconceptions I've noticed is uh, customers don't realize it's there. Therefore, when you do a conversation and speak about the product, they have a tendency of thinking it's just a, another license that they end up having to pay for. Um, but nope, it's built in. Uh, if they're licensed for it, it, it's there. Cameron, what like what's the the most common use case? Where do you where do you see your customers apply object protection to? When I'm talking with customers, probably the most common areas are typically groups within Active Directory, um, uh, and and they can be either sensitive Active Directory groups like domain admins, putting additional protection onto those, or even business critical groups. They might be groups related to to call business applications. Um, they're probably the most common areas I see, but it's not the only areas. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, uh, I even had a customer who were attacked by the Conti ransomware uh, last year, and one of the uh, one of the steps, obviously, the attackers were taking is once they gain access into the environment, the first thing they do is elevate their permissions, elevate their access, and give themselves access to the administrators group. If you have object protection. Uh, configured against administration groups, then basically we we block that from happening. Br Brian, how do we technically make those change make those uh, changes? How do we protect? Although you know, I'm I'm a regular admin. This is a common use case. Yep. I'm a regular admin inside of Active Directory, but if I try and make a change while Change Auditor has that template configured against that object, say the administrators group, Change Auditor is blocking me. How does that technically happen? This is the power of having an agent on the different domain controllers. 
So we said the different roles is too far as far as what we would like. So when we're seeing the different changes, when we're using change order, we intercept the different LSAS calls that are happening, and we have this different you know list. So we have a, a approved list. Like oh, we have our identity management tool. This one's allowed to make the change. This other one's not identity management tool. It's not these different hours. Not coming from this origin. We see that traffic, and we will just prevent it from happening. And then we will generate an activity that somebody tried to do something that they weren't necessarily supposed to. So that's the big power of change order. It can complement a lot of your PAM solutions, a lot of your IGA solutions to make sure you can restrict it. So only those approved tools can actually make the different changes if you want to really start enforcing the policies your organization's established. Got you. And I'll just follow up with what Brian said, and Jason, I'll ask you this. How do I prevent myself from locking myself uh, with a protection template as such? You can create exclusions, of course, um, which is a powerful part of the product because of the ability to include certain groups um, certain users and exclude those that you don't necessarily, if you want to break the glass account, um, if that is something your organization wants to do, you can put those exclusions in. Yeah. Great. So uh, hopefully, you know, a lot of our customers will, will see this uh, video and, uh, you know, you have access to it. It's under the view administration, uh, bottom left hand side, the protection templates. You protect your Active Directory database, groups, uh, group policies. Even if you have Windows File Server auditing enabled, you can protect against changes happening to files. If you have Change Order for Exchange, you can protect against non-owner mailbox activity, things like that. Appreciate your time, guys. Thank you. No worries. Cheers.